at the end of the day, you know, I said this when I first took this job uh, back in 2002, that my job is to make sure that the Gator Nation is very proud of us at the, at the end of the season. And the other thing, too, is I was hired to win championships. And that not always mean the SEC championship. I think that the, the national meets a little more important. Not that we weren't trying at the SEC oh, to sure. We're not an SEC team this year. So at the end of the day, our plan and our goal was always to be at our best at the national championships. But they, you, like a lot, of, a lot of other people, just like you did, thought we were done. And that works to our advantage because they're not paying attention either. So. Well, I, I wasn't being critical. It's just like oh, you. I don't you, take it that way at all. Yeah, because so how do you get them to peak like that? What is. We, we have a system. You've learned that over the years, obviously. And again, this is going to sound very arrogant. I've been doing this since I was in Buell's High School. Sure. You know, it's the same taper, it's the same plan, it's the same thing we've been doing. I mean, obviously, we got much better athletes. I have a bunch a strength coach that knows, absolutely know what he's doing. I've got an incredible support staff with Yolanda Lawrence and her staff. Matt Delancey knows what he's doing. And also, you know, we have nutritionists and, you know, director of ops and stuff like that. They're a big part of everything we do. So the plan is a plan. I mean, this is almost identical to what we did last year. You know, we scored 54 points last year, all in the sprints this year. We had 47 in the sprints, and we got another, you know, 10, uh, 10 from the jumps. We're a national championship game. So it's not a new plan. It's not a new system. We talk about this in the recruiting process. The, kid, the athletes and the parents know. I just ask them to be patient. You know, when we're at the net, the conference meet, PJ Austin doesn't run as well as he wants to. He's PJ, give me a month. And a month later, he's you know, fifth in the country. He blew school record holders. So. so you can be arrogant now with 13 <laughs> national titles. And well, I'm not, I'm not, I think I'm you meant you're allowed to be. Okay. 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 I will not be allowed. It's not, it's not who I am. I mean, I mean, it's a dream come true, right? I mean, it's when I stood before everybody back in 2002, did I know this was going to happen? No. But did I know that I would bust my butt every day to try to make it happen? Absolutely. And I think that's the key for me. You know, Adrian Melendez, my director, Rob, talked about it. We talked about it today. Like, that championship was done when I walked out of Austin. So, I, you know, my, I have my yellow pad out on the airplane before I fall asleep, trying to figure out how to do it again next year. So. Do you, is it, what's this spring been like for you with the naming of the track, too? Man. Yeah. That, that was a pretty cool deal. Yeah. I mean, this, this, this year's been tough for me. I lost my mom back in November. And, you know, she was just an incredible part of my life and always there for me in and, and the good and the bad. So in, in the times when I was struggling with stuff and I couldn't call her, that was hard. Um, the day that the, the track was named after me was, wow, very emotional. It, it was one thing to talk about it, right? You appear to come. But I walked out there and I see my name up on the board. And I was like, oh, my God, like, this is real. And I actually started to cry about it. Um, you know, we went through a lot of trials, especially on the women's side this year, um, the injuries and you know, things that we couldn't figure out. But at the end of the day, I'm a prayerful man, and you know, my prayer is always that we are, you know, we get to where we need to be, do the best we can, and let the chips lie where they may. I, I never, I never worry about stuff. You know, you can't control something. If somebody's injury, they can't go. They just can't go. There's nothing I can do about that. Mike, the goal for every coach, obviously, at any level, is, is to win a championship, and then the key becomes sustaining that. What do you feel like has been the key for you and your program to be able to do this? Oh, I mean, obviously we have to recruit great athletes, and then I have a great staff, and I talked about that support staff earlier, and it's a mindset. And again, you know, he talked about us being six at the conference meet, but nobody walked out of that meet going, "Oh my God, we're done." I mean, everybody was confident that we're going to be very good at the national level, and I think that's that's the key. That's our mindset. That's the culture of our program. When we come here, we come here expecting to be the best team in the country. So. And personally, how do you keep your edge every year and, and stay hungry? <laughs> well, like I said, you know, when we walked out of Austin, those trophies, I mean, we brought the trophies with us, but everything else stays there. You know, nothing we can do about that. We're not defending anything next year. Nobody's coming here to take the championship from us. So, and plus, you know, it's my job. When I sit in, in limited rooms and people come here on our campus and I promise their, their children and I promise their parents I'm going to, you know, work hard every day to make sure they're the best in the world, not just the best on this campus or the best in the country. I'm a man of my word. You know, that's what that's where my mom and my dad raised me. So, and my dad told me as a very young man, if you got a job, you do it. At your, you do it to the very best. And when you can't, you walk away. And you said your goal when you came here was to win championships. Yeah. How satisfied do you feel just about your run here and this legacy? I will say I'm pleased. I'm never satisfied. So, because if, if I become satisfied, then I'll pro I'll stop doing it. Right. So, I'm very pleased. I, again, Jeremy Foley gave me an incredible opportunity. Scott has been so supportive and helping me continue to do what I do here. Jamie McCluskey, the whole administration, Linda and everybody over there is very supportive of what we do. And you know, I, it's a very prideful thing for us to, to say we're the best team in the country. You know, we, 
I think in the last 14 years, you know, we haven't been outside of the outside of the top four. You know, it's an incredible run. You know, I've gotten some calls. People were complaining that they that the commentators were saying this might be a dynasty, and everybody else thinks it is one. So, <laughs> but I'm incredibly proud of everybody that's been a part of it. You, you've had a lot of championship teams. What makes this one special? And what have you enjoyed about coaching them? Well, I think the one thing to make the, the probably the most special thing about this one there was a lot of newbies. I mean, it's PJ Austin's first national final. It's Rob, Rob Gregory's a transfer, but it's the first time he's been on the spot to have to produce for a team. You know, the four by one, the four by four. You know, Ryan Woolley was fifth last year. This year's he's challenging. Emmanuel Bamadelli wasn't even in the final last year. This year's the NCAA champion. So we had a mm -hmm. lot of new guys: Sean Dixon, Bodie, Malcolm Clemens. You know, the struggles he went through this year with injuries and. Malcolm walked. We, we basically he came off he came off the the bus after the, the conference meet. He could barely walk. You know, four weeks later, he's fourth in the country in the long jump. You know, that again a testament to Yolanda Lawrence and, and our training staff.